Hey guys, it's Saturday, I believe it's March 4th today, getting closer to turkey season. I'm just out in my shop, just tinkering around. It's really windy today, so I figured I'd come indoors and just practice on some form, just practice on shooting, and I'm actually playing around with the GoPro mount uh, on this Elite Energy 32, which is an awesome bow, by the way, shoots great, but the riser cutouts and angles on this is just not GoPro friendly. <laughs> I'm having some issues trying to find a better mount where the camera's not in the way, so best I've come up with, I got it mounted on my quiver. Um, I really don't like shooting with my quiver on. Just it, it makes the bow more bulky, uh, a little bit heavier, the weight. But for right now, that's what I've got to, got to deal with trying to find a, a better bracket. Anyway, just out here tinkering around, just kind of doing a BS session. Hope everybody else is out flinging some arrows today or having some fun with the family. So, anyway, let's see how these angles work out. We'll take a look. Like I said, I'm just inside my shop. Uh, got a target at 11 yards. The uh, cool thing is about this bow with the speed and the setup that I have. Anything below 20 yards is dead on, the same as 20. So I just dial in 20 and I hit where the pin's at. So if it's missing the target, it's not the bow's fault, it's mine. So let's see. Let's see how this works out. A little more extra weight than what I'm used to, but the bow's balancing pretty well, really. I could probably use a, a small side kicker stabilizer. May have to add that in if I keep this set up. To help offset it just a little bit. But at full draw, it feels good other than just the bow being heavier. I'm not feeling a lot of torque. I'm not having to fight the bow a lot. Let's see. Oh, you can tell I haven't been shooting in a while. I'm a little tired. I've already shot probably two dozen. But I need to be out here shooting. Get back in the routines. We got spring turkey coming up here pretty soon. That one's pretty high. That's not bottled through very well. If y'all check out Facebook, you'll see that Jeremy got his bow overhauled, and I tell you, that thing really, really came out sweet. Kind of makes me want to do a little bit to mine. We'll see. I like this bow the way it is, though. But that black and green really, really came out well. So if you haven't seen it, I encourage you to jump on our Facebook page and tell Jeremy what you think about his bow. But it looks pretty good. His cousin custom custom paints guns most of the time. That's the second bow he's done, but I think he may have found him uh, some more business. Go check these out. Well, I would say that's not too bad. Let's see. I would say that's pretty good for shooting a couple dozen already. It's not bad for not shooting for about three weeks. 
All right. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed the little BS session. Hope your day goes well. And we'll catch in with you later. Uh, Jeremy and I are going to be trying to do some of these little vlog videos off and on to see how they turn out. Let us know if you like them or not or if it's just just too much for you. Just scroll on past it, I guess. All right, we'll catch up with you later. See ya.